welcome to the lecture on tax depreciation methods. So, in this lecture we are going to discuss about the uh, tax depreciation methods uh, which was basically because of the tax reform act uh, in US uh, in the year 1986. And in that basically there were two types of uh, you know system which were devised. Uh, one was uh, the uh, general depreciation system and uh, another was the alternative depreciation system that is GDS and ADS. So, the, the basically the you know, point was that uh, in this case normally we deal with uh, the you know class life of the asset you have assets which are defined basically based on the class life and uh, actually all its cost is recovered. So, there, 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 there is a, a concept of recovery you, you know cost recovery. So, um, uh, for that uh, there are certain guidelines there are certain rules uh, you know which are set and uh, um, uh, you know the difference between GDS and ADS is that. Uh, uh, ADS is normally for the larger you know cost recovery periods and in that straight line system is used. However, in GDS normally you have either double declining balance method is used switching to straight line or the you know uh, 150 DDB uh, DV is used switching to a straight line. So, we will discuss about uh, you know this uh, system uh, especially we will discuss about GDS. Uh, general depreciation system and in that uh, basically the, the method which is uh, normally popular is known as the modified uh, accelerated cost recovery system markers. So, that is what uh, we are going to discuss in this class. So, depreciation schedule is based on recovery period rather than uh, useful life of the asset. Now, these are uh, under the tax depreciation method because uh, you know uh, the, the there are tax benefits. Uh, uh, which are enjoyed by the investor uh, for this on, on the basis of these rules and this rule certainly can be you know tailor made you can uh, change this uh, any country can change according to the you know existing laws and, and that can be followed for uh, giving the tax benefit to the you know investors when they purchase assets uh, for uh, the normal working of the industry. So, in this case you have depreciation schedule is based on recovery period rather than useful life of the asset. Now, uh, one of the uh, traits of this uh, schedule is that here uh, you normally use the half year convention uh, to avoid very large depreciation during the first year. So, what happens that when we use these uh, accelerated methods of uh, depreciation then we know that depending upon the life of the asset. Uh, 1 by n is the if the n is the life of the asset. So, 1 by n will be the uh, you know uh, the this depreciation rate. Now, um, uh, suppose the life is 5 years it means 20 percent is the uh, depreciation rate. Now, in most of the cases you have uh, the um, double declining balance if you use then in the first year itself uh, its depreciation is 40 percent which is very large. So, normally to avoid very large depreciation during the first year itself uh, what we do is normally we apply the half year convention method uh, in these cases. Then we have also switching from a declining balance method to straight line method of depreciation that is being followed in these dep general depreciation uh, you know schemes. Uh, then uh, asset is assumed to be fully depreciated at the end of the recovery period. So, in this case uh, the whole uh, you know amount is uh, assumed to be depreciated at the end of the recovery period. So, depending upon the life uh, you have a recovery period and, and then if uh, whatever be the cost it all has to be depreciated in that recovery, uh, recovery period. Now, here assets are categorized under different uh, property class and that is why the scheme is known as in, in these cases as we discussed it is modified accelerated cost recovery system. Modified means you you, up, you do certain modifications in the accelerated uh, methods of depreciation which we studied the declining balance method or second declining balance method switching to straight line. So, in that we follow certain depreciation rate from the beginning, but here we do some modification like we use the half year convention. So, in the first year depreciation is only half 
of that year. So, uh, so that is the modification then the accelerated cost recovery. So, do you have a recovery period and whole cost is recovered in that period. So, that is why it is a modified accelerated uh, cost recovery system. Now, uh, in these cases you have uh, the property classes defined and uh, these uh, property classes are uh, basically uh, uh, for different personal properties and uh, real properties. Like uh, if you have a uh, property like special tools for manufacturing fabricated metal products and all, in those cases its class life is said to be less than 4 years and the recovery period uh, is uh, set as 3 years. So, in the 3 year basically uh, the, um, the whole cost is assumed to be recovered. So, and, and the depreciation schedule is uh, like DDB de double declining balance uh, switching to a straight line with half year convention. So, uh, in these cases uh, in the first year suppose if you are uh, doing that. So, for 3 year period you will have uh, uh, rate of depreciation is 33.33 percent. So, if it is double declining balance rate of depreciation will be 66.66 percent. Uh, so, in normal case it will be 66.66 percent, but uh, now when we use markers uh, then uh, we go for half year convention and in that case uh, we take it as 33.33 uh, percent for half year. So, your remaining is 66.66 percent and, and again 66.66 percent of that. So, it will be something close to 44 will be in the second year and then again also you will be uh, checking with the uh, you know uh, straight line uh, amount and uh, for that you have to see that whenever the straight line uh, you know depreciation using a straight line scheme will be more than that by the um, uh, you know uh, declining balance that case you have to switch to a straight line. So, that way because whole cost is to be recovered. So, you cannot get it recovered through any accelerated method of like uh, uh, these accelerated methods like declining balance or so. So, we will uh, see that how these depreciation schedules go. Then uh, you have another uh, property you know like automobiles, light trucks, computers and copiers they have they are said to be a class life of about 4 to 10 years and in that case we take the recovery period as 5 years. So, uh, there also you have uh, the depreciation method will be declining balance um, switching to double declining balance uh, switching to straight line with half year convention similar to that for the 3 year recovery period uh, you know properties. So, uh, further you have uh, uh, properties like office furniture. Uh, fixtures, railroad tracks, all these things are said to be having um, uh, falling under the class life of uh, more than 10 and less than 16 years. And they are said to be having recovery period of 7 years and, and there also again you have double declining balance switching to the straight line uh, uh, with half year convention. Uh, you have uh, the assets like used in petroleum refinery in the manufacturing of castings and forgings and railroad cars uh, which is said to be having class life of uh, 16 to 20 years and here you have recovery period which is set is uh, about uh, 10 years and again the depreciation method is about uh, declining, dec double declining balance switching to a straight line with half year convention. Then uh, you have uh, more than 20 years and less than 25 years uh, class life is uh, for uh, properties like uh, telephone distribution equipment, wastewater plants and uh, their recovery period is taken as 15 years and uh, here uh, we switch to 150 percent declining balance rather than DDB uh, we go for 150 percent declining balance. And, uh, that is uh, switched to straight line with uh, half year convention. Then uh, you have uh, the um, class life uh, uh, more than 25 years. So, in that case you have a municipal sewers, electrical power plants and in these cases you have the recovery period is taken as 20 years 
and uh, the depreciation is 150 percent declining balance switching to a straight line uh, with half year convention. So, this is for uh, the um, property, this is now for uh, uh, the real properties. Uh, you have residential rental property, apartment buildings, they have 27.5 years of recovery period and this is straight line depreciation with half year convention and non-residential real property uh, office building elevator escalator, they have 39 years recovery period and straight line depreciation with half year convention. So, these are the different types of uh, properties and what are the depreciation methods which are to be applied that is mentioned and then the respective recovery periods are also shown. So, they are used basically to, to see that how they are going to be you know taken into considerations while uh, you are uh, going to find the depreciation schedule uh, for uh, these you know uh, assets. Now, uh, let us see that how we are uh, going to uh, see that uh, how the depreciation schedules should vary when you are talking about uh, certain kind of you know uh, uh, you know uh, property. Say uh, we are talking about uh, a 5 year property. So, suppose you have uh, uh, a uh, property of uh, 5 year class. So, for uh, 5 year class property like uh, you have uh, recovery period is 5 years. Now, uh, in, in those cases uh, what we do is that we know that for markers it is uh, double declining balance uh, switching to a straight line. So, this is the you know depreciation uh, rule which is to be uh, followed. Now, what we do is you have uh, you have the recovery year and uh, uh, this way you will uh, go and uh, suppose you have a you know, 5 year class 5 year you know class. So, in this case uh, we know that we are going to have this scheme as double declining balance uh, switching to a straight line. Now, uh, if you look at uh, the uh, way how these computations are being carried out. So, we know that uh, rate of for 5 year class uh, rate of depreciation will be 0 0.2. So, it will be 1 by 5 that is 0 0.2. So, using uh, double declining balance uh, method uh, to take uh, alpha as uh, 2 times 0 0.2. So, it will be 0 0.4. Now, uh, what will happen that as we uh, move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 like that it will uh, go. Now, let us say uh, for a 5 year class what will be the you know percentage of uh, uh, amount recovered in the first year. So, in the first year it will be 40 percent. So, uh, you can uh, basically you have to ensure that how uh, you know what will be the depreciation using the you know uh, uh, declining balance method and what will be the depreciation percentage using the straight line method and uh, then only you will be finding which one to be taken. Now, if you take uh, using uh, DDB, so using DDB if you uh, find, now in the first year it has to be 0 0.4, but since it is a half year convention, so uh, it will be 20 percent, so uh, and a half year convention. So, uh, in the uh, half year convention, it will be 20 percent. So, uh, you can also have uh, uh, you know a table where you can see that using double declining balance and uh, using a straight line. So, uh, straight line method here also you, uh, you will be finding depending upon the book value and the remaining years.
Now, uh, what we do is that uh, when you are going for first year, uh, in this case it will be half DDB and uh, that too for half year. So, in the first uh, it will be 20 percent and with a straight line method we know that in a straight line method the depreciation uh, you know percentage is same uh, throughout. So, uh, it will be 20 percent in normal and for half year it will be 10 percent. So, this being larger you will take as uh, 20 percent that is there is no switching uh, as of now. Now, after this uh, the book value which is remaining is uh, 80 percent. Now, on 80 percent uh, if you take in the second year uh, your using DDB your uh, depreciation is uh, 0 0.4 that is 40 percent. So, it will be 40 percent of uh, 80. So, it will be uh, 32. Now, uh, if you take uh, the straight line method, uh, in the straight line method we know that for half year we have already uh, computed. So, the remaining life is now four and half years. Now, for four and half years uh, with uh, 80 you know as the value your uh, um, uh, straight line method depreciation will count 80 by 4.5. So, that is uh, 160 by 9. So, it will be something like 17.78 percent. So, with 4.5 years uh, remaining uh, the straight line is uh, depreciation scheme is telling out to be 17.8 percent and this double declining balance is telling you to be 32 percent and since 32 percent is larger we are going to have this 32 percent. Then uh, in the you know uh, 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 so, this is basically the uh, depreciation percentage. Okay. So, this is uh, depreciation percentage. Now, you are coming to third year. Now, we know that 20 percent and 32 percent is already you know depreciated. So, 52 percent is depreciated. So, your book value is now uh, 48 out of 100. Now, uh, in 48, uh, Again uh, using DDB your rate of depreciation is 0.4. So, it will be uh, 48 into 0 0.4. So, that is your 19.2 percent. Now, uh, in this case the time remaining now is uh, 3.5 years. So, using a straight line it will be 48 by 3.5. So, that is uh, you know 96 by 7 and it will be uh, 13.57. 13 point no 13 point 7. Uh, so, it is uh, 96 by 7 so 13 point 7 1. So, now uh, you what you see is that uh, using the double declining balance method the depreciation is uh, you know uh, 19 point 2 percent and uh, the um, uh, straight line method is 13.71 percent. So, we will take it again as 19.2 percent. Now, we can also have a you know table where we can write book value at end of year. So, here it will be 80 percent, it will be here as uh, 48 percent and then uh, then you will have uh, now, you have 19.2 uh, is uh, uh, gone. So, it will be 28.8 percent. So, 28.8 out of 100 it is basically uh, you know we are calculating. Now, again uh, we are going to fourth year. In the fourth year uh, you have uh, the um, double declining balance method. Again 28.8 will be multiplied with 0 0.4. So, it will be um, uh, 11.52 and uh, using a straight line method as we know that we have still two and a half years of life remaining. So, it will be 28.8 by uh, 2.5. So, if you do, do the 57.6 by 5 and it will be 11.52 percent. So, what we see is that in the fourth year uh, you know uh, we are getting the similar value 
of uh, depreciation percentage and we can take any one of them and but, but certainly we have to switch uh, after this to the um, you know uh, uh, straight line method. So, it will be 11.52 percent uh, you know is uh, uh, taken and uh, uh, now the book value uh, will be 17.28 percent, 17.28 out of 100 if we uh, take that. So, it will be 17.28. Now, uh, we have basically um, 1.5 years remaining and we have to switch to a straight line. So, we cannot go by uh, this basically now we have to move to switching. So, now we are moving to switching and here you will have 17.28 by uh, 1.5. So, it will be 13.56 uh, by 34.56 by uh, 3. So, it will be 11.52 percent again. So, it will be 11.52 uh, percent. So, it will be uh, you know we have not to do by these uh, double declining balance. For uh, instance, if you do by double declining balance, if you calculate it will be 40 percent of 11.52. So, it will be less basically it will be 4.608. So, anyway that is not to be taken. So, you have to take this 11.52 and then half year remaining is 11.52 was the so, you will have 5 point uh, you know 76 now and this 5.76 basically is there. Uh, so, that uh, will be coming in the final uh, value. So, basically uh, so 11.52 percent is basically the rate. So, certainly uh, uh, this 5.76 uh, will be uh, coming as the percentage depreciation in the final year. So, this is the you know uh, calculation method using markers in a 5 year uh, class property where the recovery period is 5 years. We know that since we are starting with uh, the half year convention. So, basically it is going into the 6th year. So, being uh, the depreciation for 5 years it is going into the 6th year and in the sixth year it is uh, being done. So, this way uh, what we uh, you know do we calculate these uh, you know depreciation percentage uh, for the uh, different classes and you can calculate for uh, the different you know property classes uh, and uh, you see that uh, how you are uh, uh, switching to the different you know. Uh, uh, you know that from DDB to straight line method of depreciation. Uh, for example, if you try now you can uh, cursory you can do go for suppose for 3 year class say. So, for 3 year class in the first year uh, we, we, we know that it is DDB switching to straight line and half year convention. So, in the first year the percentage depreciation will be uh, half of 2 times you know uh, this is uh, 66 percent point six six percent. So, it will be uh, you know uh, 33 point. So, it will be uh, uh, now DDB is uh, 66 point six six percent. So, not 2 here it will come anyway. 33.33 into 2 is 66.66 percent because uh, in normal case rate of depreciation is 33.33 uh, uh, percent. So, it will be uh, 2 DDB 66.66 percent and half year convention is there. So, we go for uh, you know 33.33 percent. So, if you take book value at the end of the year it will be uh, you know 66.67 uh, percent. Then in the second year, now uh, you could have computed uh, using the um, uh, straight line method and using the straight line method it will be coming as 33.33 percent by 2. So, that is 16.66 percent. So, that is uh, basically quite lesser than this. So, you are not going to take it. In the second year again it will be 66.66 percent 
of uh, uh, you know 66.67 yeah, using DDB and uh, using a straight line uh, since your 66.67 percent is there and you have uh, uh, you know uh, uh, two and a half years remaining. So, it will be uh, 66.67 uh, divided by 2.5. So, uh, it will be something like uh, 133.34 by 5. So, uh, it will be something uh, uh, you know close to, uh, uh, so you can uh, multiply it with 4. So, it will be 26.6 uh, something like percent uh, using a straight line and by this you will be getting something like 44.44. Uh, percent. So, this will be coming not this one because this is larger. So, this is using DDB you are getting 44.44 and using the straight line you are getting 26.666. So, you are going to get this. So, it will be 44.44. So, book value will be 66.67 uh, minus 44.44. So, it will be 22.23 uh, percent. Now, you go to third year using DDB, it will be uh, uh, you know uh, 22 point, uh, so uh, 6 7 percent uh, you know multiplied by 22.23. So, uh, this uh, you will be getting uh, and then using straight line. Uh, you are going to get you have the value of 22.23 and you have the uh, uh, remaining life is 1.5 years. So, it will be uh, 44.46 by uh, 3. So, it will be 14.82 and if you multiply this uh, basically uh, uh, 22.23 and 66.67. So, so, ultimately you are going to get uh, this value. You can have the multiplication maybe that it may uh, uh, come to be the same. So, that way 44 percent. So, here you have switching uh, going on and in the fourth year uh, basically your switching will be occurring. So, you can uh, come to so 40.82 if it is uh, coming out then it will be 7.41 is the book value remaining and that 7.41 will be there for the you know since it is a half year. So, you will be coming to 7.41. So, your risk uh, your so your depreciation uh, schedule uh, will go like 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, for uh, 3 year property class you are in the first year 33.33, second year it will be 44.44 then you have 14.82 uh, and then again 7.41. So, this way your switching occurs here and uh, you can uh, see that. You can go for even 10 year property class and in 10 year you know that uh, you are using DDB it will be 20 percent and uh, that way it will move. So, uh, basically uh, you are going to get these uh, different depreciation schedules you can calculate and uh, you can uh, get it. So, suppose for a 7 year uh, class, so what happens that if you have a recovery period uh, and uh, if you calculate uh, you know uh, for different uh, you know uh, periods. So, we have done for 3 and 5 years, we can see for a uh, 10 year class, suppose we are 7 year class. So, for 7 year if you calculate it will be 14.29 then you will have uh, the 24.49 then you will get 17.49 then you will get 12.49 then uh, you it will be switching. So, 8.92, 8.92, 8.92 and 4.46 it will go to 8th year in the case of 7 year. Similarly, if you go to 10 year class in 10 year class it will be quite simple you have 20 percent of the you know depreciation rate. So, in the first year half is uh, 10 then 90 is remaining then 90 of 20. So, 18 will be there. 
So, uh, that will be 18. So, similarly it will go 14.40. 11.52 and then you have switching of 9.22 no switching is uh, not there you can calculate it and then you will have 6.55 6.55 uh, 6.55 and then ultimately in the end 10th year you will have 3.28 so this way uh, your depreciation percentage will be there for uh, uh, different uh, you know property classes that can be computed and that can be calculated used for the uh, you know uh, what amount of depreciation is there in, in a particular period. So, this is about that uh, you know tax depreciation method using markers we uh, calculate. Thank you very much.